G'day folks, it's Jimmy here from The Hard Rock Show and today we're gonna to do another review. This review is an Australian band who has relocated to Canada and my God, have they released a fantastic album, The Lazies with Tropical Hazards. Let's go. Okay, yes, The Lazies. Uh, they have released their new album. I think it might be album number two. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, they've released a new album called Tropical Hazards. It's out now on Golden Robot Records. Uh, 10 songs, 34 minutes. It's available on all your streaming platforms. And I'm pretty sure they've got a Bandcamp page uh, where you can go and buy the physical copy. And I've seen that there's vinyl floating around too. So um, get it. Uh, now, the Lazies are originally from Sydney, Australia, and they relocated to Canada, and they're now based there. Uh, the last release they put out, they had a couple of songs, I think, that went into uh, Canadian sort of mainstream charts and had some success. So the band decided to up it and leave, which is probably the right thing to do. Uh, I think it is. And uh, now they're in Canada. So this album came out earlier this year, and I only just came across it, and Boy, am I glad I did, because this is fantastic. Let's check out some music now. Think Airborne, ACDC, The Angels, um, even a UK band called The Treatment, um, all mixed together with their own original sound and you're somewhere around the mark uh, with this band. Um, it's dirty bar room hard rock and it is bloody fantastic. The star of the show, in my opinion, on this album is a gentleman by the name of Leon Harrison, who is the singer. He has a killer voice. Um, so gutsy. He's got this sort of bourbon soaked uh, voice and his melodies are great. Everything on this album is great, but the vocals really do stand out. Leon is a gem of a singer. The production is brilliant. It's crisp, clear, ballsy and loud, but not distorting. The, the production is spot on and I love it. Can you tell I love this album? I do. Um, this album has swagger all through it. It's danceable music, it's head-banging music, it's fist-pumping music. It's all here, folks. It's all here. Check out some more music now. Great backing vocals uh, and harmonies on this album as well. Guitar work is fantastic. Um, if Australian radio, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to go on a rant here, uh, but if Australian radio supported the bands now and a band like this, um, like they did in the 70s, 80s and early 90s, this band would be getting flogged all over radio. And it's so sad um, that they've had to leave this country and to get anywhere. But good on them for doing it because they're so good at what they do. This, this is hard rock done really, really well. And it's modern and it's not dated in any way. It's just happy party rock, you know. Um, and like I said, it's sad that they've had to up and leave. And hopefully they come back and, and do some shows uh, back in Australia because I reckon this band has the potential to really take off worldwide. Um, I'll try and find some more music. Let's see how we go here. I don't know if there's a lot, but I'll put something up. Go! This morning she was already gone And my head was like an anchor on the ocean floor Had to find her again before she cast me ashore She left a treasure map of clues that led me to her door With a rose in my teeth said, please forgive my sins A dirty look on her face 
Now, there's a song on here called Somebody's Daughter, and it is an absolute standout, brilliant song. Um, it's so good to hear a band like this, you know, who are doing that whole dirty, hard rock, sleazy sort of stuff, um, not being afraid to make a statement and talk about a subject that doesn't involve booze and cars and women for a change. Um, that song is a standout lyrically and, and musically, and it, it talks about, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's sort of regarding domestic violence um, and that type of thing, and it is a standout song, and well done to the band on having the, having the guts to just make a statement. There's not a lot of hard rock bands do it. They're all singing still about booze and cars and women, and it's like, man, everyone was doing that way back. Let's talk about some subject matter in the world um, while having fun and they do it, the lazies, on this. This is a great album, it's world class. I hope that this band takes off overseas and gets massive because they've written some fantastic songs on this. I urge you to check it out. Um, I would almost go so far to say this is, this is the best Australian release I think I've heard this year and uh, it may well end up being the best release I've heard this year. It's fantastic. I give it a 10 out of 10. I can't fault this album. I'm listening to it non-stop at the moment, and I urge you to check it out if you like hard rock and you, and you like Australian music. Because it is different to the rest of the world. We do have our own little style here. Um, so get on it. Every song is a winner. 10 out of 10, The Lazies. Check them out and give them some support. And fellas, Come back to Australia and do some gigs before you get massive or big, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the Hard Rock Show YouTube page. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, Jimmy Van Zeno. More reviews coming as always. I love the lazies. I love them. See ya. <laughs>